Greg, a slightly different venue for team announcement this week. You've consistently spoken about the value of this tour, both on and off the field, exploring new cultures and new opportunities as a group. And, and this is what you've done this afternoon. Yeah, just grateful. Yeah, so grateful. I, I said it to the team yesterday, on, on, you know, that as a head coach, I'm very grateful for the group of players that I have. I'm very grateful for the management team. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to lead a group um, to Japan. And just to be a part of that is, is special. And they've worked incredibly hard. I think I think the people of Ireland will be very proud about how diligent they've been, how hard working they've been on the field. Um, and off the field they've had the opportunity to get to know each other better and to grow as a group and you know what a perfect place to be here in this in incredibly uh, important historical area within uh, Japan and there's a sense of calm and you're hoping that the players feel that way coming into the weekend. You've mentioned opportunity and hard work on this trip already, but it's also about development. Six uncapped players in your 23 on Saturday, which is a huge opportunity and hugely exciting for them. Yeah, let's go. I think um, I'm just excited to get to Saturday now. I think if you look at the work they've done since they've come in, um, they're a real credit to their clubs, they're a credit to their family. Um, I always talk about fitting the culture and fitting the direction that we want this programme to go and they're representing the country brilliantly and it's something to be really proud of and I think you know while we can admire uh, the youth coming into the programme I think we really need to look at the senior leadership group and our, our senior leadership players and just um, be very grateful as well for them and how they're leading the troops and how they're training because they're role models to the young players young players come in and there's a way now to do things and that's your, that, that's what building a culture is. It's, it's about yeah, you know, your, your best practice day to day. Your day to day environment needs to be world class and needs to be high performance and that comes from the senior players and without their contribution I think uh, we wouldn't be where we are. Just excited to get into the weekend. Four uncapped players in your back line alone, what has impressed you about them? Oh, so much. Um, I really hope they can go out the weekend and, and, and make mistakes. I hope they can go out and express themselves. They're working hard in training, and it's going to be daunting for them. You know, they're in a, they're in Japan playing against an international side that are well capable of playing like their men's side, fast, very fast rugby. It's going to be extremely hot, but they're players of the future. There's no pressure on them. They've already won. They got the opportunity to be in a national side, opportunity to train over the summer, uh, opportunity for all of us to spend time together, and anything else on top of that is going to be a bonus. We also need to look at the process of our tactical and, and, and technical model and make sure that we're also improving in areas that we need to and make the most of the time that we have out here. And Saturday is a great opportunity for, for everybody to um, test their roles and test the hard work against a really, really good opposition. You know, Leslie McKenzie, uh, their coach, is, is somebody I really admire in the game. She's a smart uh, coach and they're going to be prepared and ready to go against us and I can't wait. What do you want to see from your side on Saturday? I want to see intent and I want to see a team that are ambitious and um, be prepared to make mistakes. You know, I feel we've already won um, just by having the opportunity to be together for this length of time. Um, and, and, you know, we're at the start of our journey leading into to the next Rugby World Cup. Obviously, we're not going to the Rugby World Cup this year. That's fine now. It's about, it's about setting down our stall and setting down our pillars. So uh, we're able to build on that and hopefully become a team that's going to be competitive with the best in the world. There's been great support from back home throughout the week we've been here and it will only get bigger as Saturday approaches. The game is live on TG Carrier, which again is great. Yeah, like at the end of the day, like we're also supporters, you know, like as a head coach, I'm still like everyone else back home. You know, I'll be watching the game, excited for the players, hope we can do well. Um, all I know is that you're going to have a team that are going to be doing everything in their power to represent this country the way it should be and as a head coach that's something that I'm really proud of how they go about their business day to day and how they're going to compete this Saturday will be exciting Brilliant, thanks Greg Thank you